So here I go. I'm going to talk about Caitlyn Jenner again. So, you know, I've brought you two stories and I'm going to bring you her actual percentage in the polls today. Okay. Today, Caitlyn Jenner sits at 6%. That's what she's rocking. I'm surprised that she's that high. But hey, name recognition, right? This is where it can come back as negative. Now, this is something about her. They're doing this recall in, in, in California, right? All because of high tax rates and, you know, because they're allowing too many immigrants in there because Republicans are racist. No, we're not, we're not racist. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're racist. So, um, they're doing that. Not because, and they're like, oh, high tax rates on the rich, by the way. Not, not for average Californians. Because it is too high for average Californians. I've worked there. I lived there for a bit. You know, it is too high for Californians. But they don't care about you. No, your taxes are still going to be high over there in California. Where it's going to be low is for the rich if they get in power. And that's what they want. And they're complaining about pandemic lockdowns and all that shit. Just because, they're not, not because they're not making money. No, the wealthy are still making money. And so are the Republicans and the Democrats in, in power. It's because they just want to stir up the base and get them out. But getting back to Caitlyn Jenner, she's got 6% in the polls. 6%. And, you know... This is someone who, you know, was uh, last week on Fox News with Sean Hannity, and I covered it. Watch, watch that video, by the way. I covered it where she's like, yeah, I spoke to my friend in the hangar, and he don't like homeless people. Hey, man, I'm going to leave because all this homeless people, and the tax rates are too high for me. <laughs> a guy who owns a private jet, by the way, and has a private hangar. Yeah, sitting here with our private jets, complaining about tax rates. So, the, so... They, that's what they're worried about, right? Then you get someone who has no experience at all, no talent, no nothing, not even in the business world, because the business world doesn't really respect her. You don't think business and think, no, oh, Caitlyn Jenner. You think Mark Cuban, Kevin O'Leary, right? You think Bill Gates. You think you think uh, Warren Buffett. You think Steve Jobs. You think all those guys, right? That's what you think. You don't think Caitlyn Jenner. So she's got no experience, no talent, and she's coming into this like, I think I can do this. I'm going to make a splash like I did on the reality TV show that nobody watched because of Caitlyn Jenner. No, they watched it before Kim, Chloe, Rob, you know, uh, 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 you know, they watched it for um, Kylie and Kendall and Kris Jenner and Scott Disick and all those people, all those guys, right? Guys and gals. The ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so here she is thinking, I'm going to do this because I got the experience when she does not. She, she's bullshit. And then she is opposed to trans, trans youth. Okay, remember, she's a trans person. She's opposed to trans youth doing sports, doing women's sports. Even though every week she goes and plays in women's golf. So you don't want to, you want those privileges for yourself, but you don't want them for, for these people. You don't want them for the people that you belong to. Oh, and then you want to be an icon for the youth. Uh, give me a goddamn break. Hell no. Ain't no parent wanting you as an icon for these people, for these youth, for these trans youth. Hell no. I, I would... The transgender people that I know, I would not go, hey, man, you, sh you should, hey, you, you should check out Caitlyn Jenner. She's awesome. No. So three things of why she's she's not getting ahead. Number one, she's an elitist. Far less money than Donald Trump, although Donald Trump ain't that rich. Possibly he's more in debt than rich. Far less money than Donald Trump, but she's an elitist. Private jets, caviar, you know, Martha's Vineyard type elitist nobody in california is going to want to hear the argument well the tax rates for the rich are too high they don't care they want it to be high for you they want it to be low for them 
because we don't have the money to pay those taxes. But that argument's not, oh, man, I wish I could uh, fly my private jet without looking down and seeing a bunch of homeless people. And I wish I could not pay taxes on my private jet. Nobody cares about that. And she's got no experience. No experience at all. And she's also turning against her own. She's going against her own beliefs just because I want to be a dick. And it's not getting her anywhere, folks. Caitlyn Jenner's not getting anywhere. And she's got support from nobody. Nobody. Not from Republicans. Well, not from independents. Not from Democrats. And not the Republican Party. Yeah, this is a national race. And it sucks that she's the only person getting any recognition. Any recognition. At all. In this race. She's the only one. Okay. So. She ain't gonna win. She's not gonna win. Because... She's an elitist, she's got no experience, and she's going against her own beliefs. There's no way she's going to win this thing. Let me move something here. There's no way she's going to win. And if she thinks she's going to win, she's goddamn mistaken.